Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of someone pursuing, someone initiating. There's a lot of passion here. Someone is very attracted to you. They feel a strong spark with you. Um, there's also an energy of being very drawn to pursue you. This is someone who feels like they need to take action. They are wanting to have some sort of passionate beginning with you here as well. So let's see. Okay, we have the King of Swords, Air Energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. So there is an energy of someone who wants to make amends with you. They want to heal the connection they share with you. Um, they have been thinking a lot of ways to repair something here because of the Three of Swords, that does show a card of um, disappointment in love, a heartbreak. Um, there could have been a third party that interfered here, but there's an energy of a break, a, um, some sort of painful heartbreak that has occurred. And this person has been thinking about it a lot. They've been trying to come up with ways to repair the situation with that Eight of Pentacles. They're quite determined to fix things. They want to work on the partnership. They want to heal together. This is someone who really does want to approach you with the intention of um, mending things between you. And with the King of Swords, um, they are wanting to come towards you with a very communicative energy. They want to be transparent. They want to take accountability. There's that energy of really wanting to take the more mature route here. Um, but at the same time, they don't want to sweep anything under the rug. This is someone who wants to address the issue so that you guys can work on it together. So let's clarify these cards. Um, there is. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this card is, again, a desire to leave a mistake in the past, a desire to move forward from this uh, emotional loss. This is someone who's been very sad over you. They, they've been very emotional over you. This person could have been grieving you. Um, but there's an energy of them wanting to come out of this pity party energy because this person has been feeling really down about it and they've been focusing on what went wrong and they've been beating themselves up about it but with this card being in the reverse this is a call to action this is someone who's choosing to stop focusing on what didn't work out what fell apart the three of the three cups that fell instead they're turning around and they're trying to create an opportunity to have a two of cups with you um, this is someone who is you know done licking their wounds they're ready to take action and to fix things they want to take the situation into their own hands they want to you know put in the effort yeah okay so let's see okay we have the six of swords air energy the temperance sagittarius energy and the seven of cups water energy okay so there's definitely an energy here of someone who um you know there's an energy of them having taken it's it's been a moment here um this person hasn't rushed to fix things this could have occurred a long time in the past in fact with the three of swords and the five of cups this person has been slow to reapproach you um it's because this person has been um feeling very overwhelmed by their emotions 
Um, this is someone who genuinely cares about you. They've been very emotional and they, they, they've been waiting for themselves to get out of that state first before taking action towards you. There is a hope that you haven't moved on, but there's also an energy of them traveling towards you with that Six of Swords. Um, this person is wanting to move out of the turbulent waters and move towards peace. They want to reconcile with you and have some sort of harmonious um, connection with you. There's a desire to make up, to reconcile. And with the temperance, there's also that compromise energy. This person wants to fix the connection. They want to heal the connection with you. And they're willing to compromise in order to do that. So there's a very gentle energy there with the temperance. And again, it's like this person has been tempering themselves first before coming towards you. They, they couldn't do this in the past. They couldn't approach you because they were too emotional. This person felt like they were not in a state to approach you but they are it's like they're stepping more so into this more tempered even tempered king of swords energy now and they want to take action from that place because they're in a more grounded energy now okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um aries So the card says a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries so we have the ace of wands and we have this full moon in aries energy which is i'm seeing an energy of this person taking action coming towards you initiating something with you they are taking the initiative in the situation because they feel ready now to take action okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you aries Okay, so the card says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this person definitely wants to have some sort of moment with you where they discuss the situation, address the issue. They want some sort of one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, this person is feeling like there's a lot that needs to be um, expressed and addressed and worked through. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Here it is. So the card says unanimity and harmony. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. So there's again that temperance energy and we have this harmony energy. This person wants to, um, you know, get some sort of middle ground with you. They want to balance things out with you. Um, there is also an energy of wanting to um, get you alone to discuss something, to open up to you in some way, to tell you how the situation made them feel. There's an energy of really wanting to get you to understand them and their viewpoints and to have some sort of, um, you know, mutual understanding between you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.